Hey guys, welcome to yet another alluring and insightful episode here at AutoConnect Kenya. And remember, AutoConnect is that channel that will guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. Today we are filming from a paint booth and uh, with that environment, you definitely have to know that we are talking about your car's paint job. Well, driving a car that has a bad paint job is like, uh, you know, walking around with bad makeup on it reduces your confidence you do not even want to stand in front of people so a car with a bad paint job is more or less like a lady with bad makeup but how do we end up with paint jobs that are this bad and where can we get uh, and uh, where or how can we get good paint jobs and today we are having an up close and candid discussion with one of the paint experts in Nairobi and we are at Donga Car Bakery we are going to talk about bad paint jobs good paint jobs and even how to take care of your car's paint job how long should a good paint job last I'll be your host Eric Okabi Eric with a CK you can follow me at a personal level on Facebook X Instagram and TikTok as well Today we are joined on set by a paint expert from Donga Car Bakery and Donga Casper, and uh, he's the brain behind Donga Car Bakery. And he's a paint expert. He has had vast experience with paint jobs, and he boasts of producing some of the best paint jobs in Kenya. And we are going to have uh, an up close and candid discussion and try to demystify some of these myths that are associated with paint jobs. And also, we are going to talk about how to get that good paint job uh, on your car. Because again, what are the causes of bad paint jobs? These are things that we are going to explain on this particular show. Because we need your cars to look good. We need you to have that confidence as you drive around. Because at the end of the day, whether a car is beautiful or ugly, well, the paint probably plays around 90% of that prima facie or that first impression because you can be having a very expensive car with a very bad paint job yes now it will not be very pleasant so you can having you can be having an old car but with an with a pristine paint job and that will make it you know uh, an, a head turner and we, we are here to talk about matters paint bonadonga yes karibu sana karibu sana karibu sana karibu sana to this facility of ours yes and uh, as we would like to put it, uh, here we do proper paint jobs. Yes. 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 Bad paint jobs. Mm -hmm. Because everywhere you see, you look at the cars, no matter how new they are, one in every three cars on our roads today has a very bad paint job. And the most, um, the most annoying thing is that people are paying premium for bad paint jobs. Uh, if people are paying premium for bad paint jobs, eh? then that is quite unfortunate because you expect the people who don't pay premium for them to get bad paint jobs. Because mostly uh, what you have around in our, in our country is uh, people, people don't invest in the process of, of painting cars. Uh, they like doing things with a lot of, with a lot of shortcuts. Yes. That's, why, that's why somebody will go, will find it very okay with him to go somewhere uh, and not to talk badly about uh, Juakali guys. Huh? Yes. Just somewhere, uh, it's just an open field and then somehow get a paint job done in hours. You, should not, you cannot expect anything good as far as paint is concerned eh, to be done in a couple of hours. You will definitely get a bad paint job. So now what Mr. Donga is telling us is there is no paint job that can be done in two hours and expect perfection. Because we are seeing a lot of that. You get, if you're driving in Nairobi, then you expect to be scratched by a matatu or even scratched by a boda boda yes. guy mm -hmm. and or, or even other, other, other mishaps. Yeah. Eh? You know, our roads are not the best mm. currently and yes. even there's a lot of congestion. Yeah. So you, you get scratched and somebody tells you, I'm going to paint this panel. Now, uh, that's where now the difference will come in. Of course, when they paint for you uh, at that particular time, you'll be okay with it because it, it, it's just freshly painted. Eh? It might work for you. 
but that's what, uh, like, like that example you're giving about people having different panels with different looks. Eh? Looks, yeah. It's because when that paint is done at that, uh, at that point, or it may be even, even like a, in, in a week's time, it will still look the same. But after it has been hit properly by the sun. Uh, our sun, eh? that's when I start changing. Yeah. So if I want this panel painted and I want to match it with a bonnet, and mo okay, most people don't seem to get it right. Is yes. it because of the, they don't use the paint code or uh, is it because they don't use the right uh, preparation materials or is it even, you know, there are guys who just will pluck the, the fuel gate yes. and they go one ender, they check if the colors match. There may not be a problem with that. Yes. If that, if that person who's doing that is an expert. Yes. He has a he has a whole tinting machine. He can do that just just to confirm yes. that the, the the paint code and what is on the on the on the vehicle match. Reason why? Because uh, most of our cars are like eight years old. Yes, seven seven eight years old. So uh, due due to the advanced uh, sunlight being scorched on, on on the on the body, it changes the the. The shade, color, yeah. the shade, a bit. So removing the, even as we do that, eh, when it's not a totally new car. But primarily, you have to use the paint code. You have to get the code. You have to get the, you have to get the, you have to get the code. Uh, you take it to a proper uh, to a proper tinted guy. Like us, we 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 strictly use uh, uh, Japanese paint or European paint. Okay. So only those two are the guys that we use. Eh? So, uh, and, and, and that's what I was trying to tell you, you cannot have that done in a few hours because mostly guys will take now uh, that, 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 uh, that fuel can, that fuel the lead, lead, yeah, the lead yes. and they go try and match without a code. You need first use a code for it to, 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 to give you the, the, the actual paint as per the manufacturer. So if there's going to be uh, a little adjustment, eh, uh, you can use the, you can use the, the fuel lead. Yes. But primarily, you need to use the paint code. And that's what mostly people don't use. Okay. And now, the other problem is, uh, we have different paint, man, uh, paint manufacturers or, or reporters. And they use different bases. So, a certain base might be inputted uh, the, the, the correct paint code, eh? but it won't give you the same. That's the reason why we use, most, most of the cars uh, are either Japanese on our roads, are either Japanese or, or German. So, so, that's why we have, we have uh, for, for, for German, for, for German machine, or for European cars, eh? we use a certain company, we use Seekens yes. for that, and for Japanese, we use Nippon. Okay. And those are locally, they have local distributors around. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now that we have talked about the, 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 two, the two major manufacturers that you get paint from, yes. let's talk about, before you do this paint job, what are the parts of this paint like? Okay, from, from the little education I have on paint, yes. I know there is uh, the primer, mm -hmm. there is uh, the base coat, there is, uh, there is uh, okay, let's start yes. with mixing. When you're mixing yes. paint, there yes. is the hardener. So, uh, the process, uh, there, is the, there is the primer. Yes. Then there is the undercoat. Then there is the base coat, eh, which is now what you see, the color yes. is the base coat. Eh. And then there's a uh, there's a clear coat. The clear coat. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and in those uh, quality, especially for primer and filler, they are very key. Most of the most of the problems that we have with paint jobs, uh, they come from the filler bit of it, because uh, uh, filler you need to have a good quality of filler that dries properly and that's the reason why uh, if, you, if you get a bad a bad quality filler it may dry at that point eh? and that's that's we'll go back now to those paint jobs that are done in, in a few hours eh? 
That's why they will always crack later on because that filler will now will now dry as you as you move with the car. Okay. So and filler will have to dry. So uh, as it tries to, to to dry, it dries now from the paint. Normally a, a complete paint job, it dries from the metal from the panel coming out. So the the clear coat. The clear coat and the base coat might, might dry, but inside the filler and the primer was not fully dried. So with time, it has got to dry. That's why you see bubbling, because now it's, it's, try, it's, trying, to look, uh, it's trying to look for an outlet to dry the filler or the base coat. Okay. That's why you see bubbles, bubbles or cracks. cracks. Yes. Now let's get back to paint. Eh? Yes. Now for you to get the, you know, you can have good quality materials yes. but get a bad paint job True. because of mixing True. and also the expertise and the machines used. Uh, it's, it's mostly preparation. Yes. A good paint job, as you, uh, we try putting up a, a, a huge burn outside there. Yes. It is all about the processes and how you prepare before you now you come and paint. That is why uh, uh, when you walk outside, I will show you, I will try and demonstrate for you, to, to you, how uh, the stages, you have to start with, uh, if, if, if you already had a bad paint job on, on a car, we have to strip, we have to strip down to the, to the bare, to the bare metal. Then from that, we now start, we use a proper primer, and as we use a epoxy primer, yes. not, uh, there's a lot of gray primer, which we don't use because we had uh, very bad experiences uh, with, with, the, with that. So we use a yellowish epoxy primer. It has, it has a primer and a hardener. Yes. That way, we know, uh, because that is, what, that is what we put on top of, of, a, of, 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 a, field, of a field surface. So we, we, we are sure that uh, uh, the filler is, 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 is dried properly. And then we use a proper primer uh, to cover the filler, and we can't we can't now go ahead and 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 and, uh, and paint or put even an undercoat on top of that before 12, 18 hours okay. for it to dry yes. completely. Now we are going to show you the step-by-step -step process of uh, painting a car, and we are going to start with this Mazda Demio. Now, this car came in with a very bad paint job. Uh, Bonadonga, you remember what you were explaining about bubbling and yeah, cracking? No, this, was, this, this, this is a very good example of, of a properly bad paint job. Paint job eh? This car has a ton of filler. <laughs> Literally, because when you are stripping this one side, eh, we have to stop everything here. Because there's a lot of dust. So this side, this side, this side, uh, if, if, if you look on this side, uh, we've stripped it, uh, but uh, before you go there, I'm sure, I'm sure Andy can get, can get uh, the, the bubbling, the bubbling and, and the cracking. And, and, the cracking. So this is what and even when you hit it, you feel that is, even if you like two you go up. It's a, there's a lot of filler here. So these are some of the cracks here, Yes. the bubbling. But now uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, um, process of painting this car, number one, as Mr. Donga said, is stripping. And this is what is now stripping to the to the bare metal, yes. the bare sheet of the panel. So this how, this how, uh, we first now this one uh, because uh, because of the, the amount of filler it had. Uh, yes, we have to remove all that filler. Yes, because two issues: a lot of filler, more than more, more than needed, and bad quality filler. Okay. So so we, we have to strip it down everything, then. You know, people use filler to fill. Yes. Filler is not supposed to fill. See, because your filler is kujaza. Kujaza, yes. You know, if, if a car has dents, eh, you are supposed to to remove the, the dents. To, to remove the dent, you are supposed to pull the dents. Not to cover them with filler. Not to cover them with filler. So we're supposed to uh, uh, you're supposed to pull all the dents. Of course, you cannot do it like hundred uh, eh? yes. percent, because it doesn't have a mold. It's already been hit. Eh? but you do it as much as you can. Then you just apply a very thin layer of, of filler, filler just to smoothen the surface, the panel. 
but not to feel dense. So the what purpose happens? of filler is it's not, not to, to not it's to, not feeling not dense. Not feeling eh? dense. It's smoothening it's the just surface. Smoothening the surface. So you need a very very thin a very layer. a very thin layer of, 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 of filler. So after stripping, we go now, to filling. Yes. So now we go we go to filling, huh? So now this is the filler that uh, has yes. been applied. So if you look, uh, you can still see the the, the surface. The of surface, the, eh? Yes. Because it's a very thin layer layer of filler. Yes. So, says in Nini, you cannot feel, you, you, and the filler is very, is very little. But one thing you can tell, Mr. Donga, mm. is that this car had a very bad surface. Yes. An extremely, An extremely bad, bad surface. surface. So, I, I, compared to the other cars that I'm seeing being worked on, this one has had uh, to be, f okay, has had to have a, a good amount of filler on it yes again to smoothen yes, it yes just, just to smoothen it yes. but it's still a very a very thin layer a very thin layer because uh, the, the the huge layers normally results to cracking yes like what we had on yes. the bonnet yes so now let's go to the third process and that is priming, priming. so on this mercedes-benz w204 here uh the priming process has been going on and i think this is what mr donga called the epoxy Primer. primer yes or, ye or yellow primer or it's yellow not, primer it's not the typical gray gray, gray primer, primer. That you, uh, yeah. that and, and the, the surface is very smooth it's extremely mm -hmm. smooth and one thing that i've admired about this guy is that you have been able to maintain the the contours yes yes so this yes. one is is a good surface that needed uh, just a decent paint job yeah so now this is the priming bit now this this is the priming bit so it has been primed and sanded down yes now it's ready to have the undercoat go, go on top of the primer now. Yes. Yeah. So now when the undercoat goes on top of the primer, that is in the paint booth. Yes, that's in the paint booth. So from, from here it goes to? To the paint booth. To the paint booth. Together, together the, the, the undercoat on top of it. Yes. Then uh, wait for, for a full day. Then we have the, the base coat. Like what we have on the, on, on the, on the, on the FJ Cruiser. On the FJ Cruiser inside yes. the paint booth. So after that, now, so this is the second stage. The pr priming is the second stage. Then there is, uh, there is the, the undercoat, the base coat, which is the color. Yes. And then now finally, uh, the clear the coat. The clear coat. Yes. Sour, sour. Mm. So now let's get back to the paint booth and discuss a few things. Mm -hmm. Mr. Donga, yes. the other thing that I know really, you know, determines how good a paint job will be is the painting environment. Yes. Uh, paint reacts differently with contaminants. Yes. And one of the primary contaminants is dust. Mm. So how do we, how do we, uh, how do we prevent this from happening? And I know most people these days they have shades yeah. to paint a car, and there are people who have proper paint booths mm -hmm. like this one that we have. Yes. So maybe explain to us how, what is the role of a proper paint booth, and. Uh, how do you make sure that the paint environment is sanitized to, to, you know, to avoid contamination and also the features of a modernized paint booth that, uh, you know, so that you, I, I understand, so that you uh, prevent oversprays and also contamination, you need some features in a paint booth and even some temperatures. You know, there are guys out there who, who when it rains or when the weather changes, they cannot paint. They cannot paint. They have yeah. to wait now, yeah. for <laughs> instance, in April, there are guys who are not painting. But uh, are you going to wait for the whole month <laughs> for the sun to come back? Well, yeah, uh, as you rightly put it, uh, a proper, a proper paint booth has different uh, features. Uh. Primarily, uh, it's, it's supposed to, put, uh, to keep away dust as much as possible. You, you can't, we, we can't do it like 100%. Uh. Yes. But that's why we, we are in an, in an enclosed, a properly enclosed booth. Uh, so that is one to keep away uh, to keep away dust mostly that's why you need a, a booth now the other feature that we have uh, in, a, in in this particular booth uh, we have air inflow and air outflow because when uh, when a technician is 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 is, is doing the actual painting uh, there's a lot of fume Th that fume needs to be uh, the fume, which which is primarily paint, uh, once when when it's getting away from the from the gun, 
if it doesn't land on the, on, the, on the surface, it needs to be taken away. That's the reason why we have extractors to pull all that uh, and, and avoid a lot of overspray, okay. to minimize overspray. So we have, we have an, in an inlet and, uh, and, uh, and, and extractor fans. And is this why we have this blue paint yes. on the extractors? Yeah. Uh, maybe from this. Yes, it's, it's from it's from this paint job. Yeah. So it's supposed to suck out the overspray. The, all the overspray. Yeah. So the air comes in from here. Yeah, comes in. And goes out from. Yeah. So whatever does not land on the on, on the on the car is supposed to be taken away because if, if it's not taken away, it will it will find somewhere to land. Okay. Yes. And so. and uh, also, uh, let's talk about one thing. Sometimes you get a car has been painted, but you see clear dripping. Now, uh, clear drip is, it comes to, to, to the mixing of the clear coat, hardener, and slow thinner. Yes. That's now where the, the, a good technician uh, will need to know how to, to, to like properly mix. Because whatever is put uh, on, a, on a gun spray uh, is clear coat, mostly. Clear coat, hardener, and slow thinner. So they have got to be properly mixed depending on which uh, clear coat you're using. So when they spray, uh, if it's not properly mixed, eh, that's, when, that's when now you start seeing, uh, we call it machozi. Yes, in machozi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yes. It's, uh, yeah. What about the orange peels? Orange peel uh, is all about the pressure. Yes. Now, to go back to, to our roadside friend who paints a uh, car for guys who are passing, they use uh, a very small compressor. So that small compressor doesn't have enough enough uh, enough enough pressure to to properly spray. So that small pressure, when it, when it lasts on the on the on the on the car, it has got to it will, it will definitely leave uh, orange peel. Yes. So the orange peel is is just a pressure issue. And and I'm sure Andrew will will give you a photo of actual orange peel. Because it's called orange peel because it looks like the surface of an orange. Of an orange yes. And um, the other the other thing maybe you can try to argue out these petrol these petrol compressors. Uh, sometimes you, if you if you are keen enough to observe a paint job that has been done using that compressor, you will notice that it has some inconsistencies because of the pumping force of yes. that that engine. Yeah, that that uh, that you see you see now that that. Petro compressor is uh, the the pressure will not be consistent. So yes. one particular place it, it will just be fine. Then the, the next the pressure goes down. That's the reason why you have inconsistencies. Yes. And and that orange uh, orange peel uh, effect effect yeah. yeah. So at least guys, you know, if, if, try look at your vehicle if it has the orange peel effect because the orange peel effect is very annoying to look at, especially uh, if it's a car you love. Yes and. Uh, you see, it becomes even worse because you would expect when, when you buff away, it will disappear. Yes. But it cannot disappear. It, it will only reduce, but it will not, it will not disappear. completely go away. Because most of the people will tell you, after buffing, this will go away. But after buffing, you find that you still have the orange Especially, if, especially if, if, if you have a keen eye, you will, you will definitely see it. Yes. Yeah. And now, now that you have talked about buffing, Buffing is also another very big topic in the Kenyan car scene today and in the Kenyan car care. Uh, there are guys who every time the vehicle looks a bit dull, they'll go for buffing and polishing. Mm. But Mr. Donga, being an expert, I understand that buffing should not be done as frequently as people are doing it. Yes. So what happens, okay, explain to us what happens when you buff a surface and now what will happen if you overdo it, if you over buff the vehicle? You know, buffing is eating is, 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 is cutting away a very a very small slice of your clear coat. So every time you buff, what you're doing, eh, you're cutting away uh, uh, a piece of your of your clear coat. That's the reason why it's not it's not advisable to, to do a lot of buffing. Yes. Because if you if you keep on doing that, eh, the clear coat will will disappear. Now you you'll uh, you'll get to the point now. It is, it is the paint, it is the, uh, the base coat, the actual paint. So uh, we are trying to achieve a glossy look, use, you are using the buffing, but if you do a lot of it, 
now that's why now you see now the, the guy is no longer shining because you've written away all the clear court. And now that you are talking about clear court buffing, uh, there is also the other side effect when it comes to buffing. Uh, if, you, if you look at most cars, you will find that on the roof and on, and on the bonnet, there is some uh, burning effect. Mm -hmm. The sun has scorched it to the extent that you can see the, the clear coat peel off. Yes. Would that be an effect of poor clear or is that an effect of a lot of buffing? No, that is not an uh, effect of a lot of buffing. It's primarily the the poor clear coat. Yes. You see, the clear coat uh, has has different um, has different uh, grades, uh. so uh, and that's where now the cost com comes in. And that's why you you, uh, you hear people uh, doing doing a whole car uh, for forty thousand shillings, thirty thousand shillings. Definitely, uh, there's no way they're going to use a proper a proper uh, proper products uh, leave alone a proper clear coat because I can tell you for that amount that's what you use for clear coat only for for like an SUV as in a budget a, a budget for for just for clear coat only may get to those figures of 30 years 40 years so uh, a, a cheap a cheap clear coat eh? Does not does not does not break down the, the, the UV uh, the UV, UV like shield. Yes, shield yes. So it, it so the clear coat actually gets broken down by the sun. That's the reason why you, you get on, on the roof and on, on, on the bonnet. bonnet. Eh? Uh, if the clear coat was not of good quality, it it tends to to fade or uh, you just see it doesn't look good. Yeah, because that's 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 a problem with so many of the vehicles on the Kenyan roads today. Yes. It's all about the, the, the UV hitting, hitting the clear coat. If the clear coat is not good enough, it will eat, it will eat the, the clear coat itself. Okay. So Bonadonga, on the features of the paint booth, now apart from the air in, air out, uh, we also have, temperature is a very important bit when it comes to a vehicle's paint shop. Yes. And uh, I can see you have lights. Yes, yeah. we have uh, uh, UV lights. Yes. Uh, that's what after after we've done uh, the the clear coat. Yes. Because that is the the last coat. We we hit we hit the the, the paint booth eh, to almost around fifty degrees cent centigrade, and uh, for around. Around three hours <laughs> to ensure that whatever is on the surface of the of, of, of the car gets completely cured. Okay. Completely cured. Remember, I told you uh, uh, curing uh, of, a, of a paint job begins from inside coming out. Yes. So this 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 short uh, short you short wave UV, UV light, uh, they go uh, they, uh, the rays go up until the, the, the metal surface to ensure that everything, every layer from the, from the filler, the primer, the undercoat, the base coat, and the clear, everything is, is properly cured. So by the time uh, the car leaves the booth, we buff immediately. I'm sure you, 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 you've, been, uh, you've, you've encountered the uh, paint jobs that you're told, buff after we can be. After two weeks, yes, yes. As I hear buffing after Wikimbili is because they know if they just try and, 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 and uh, buff that car, yes. that whole thing, uh, the paint will come off with the buffing. Yes. But as once, once uh, it comes out of the booth, we buff immediately, the customer can pick the car. We have talked about budgets. Yes. Uh, sometimes you will go to somebody who will give you a paint job for even up to 25,000. You might find another one who is giving you around 70,000. And there are guys who are extremely high. Yeah. So what role does, does, does the amount you spend, is, it, is the amount you spend directly proportional to the quality? Or we have some quacks who will charge you premium. And these are, I know of guys who have been charged over 150 for a paint job, only to look at, to, only after, you know, after the vehicle, is done it looks worse than it was when it went there 
Well, that, that is quite unfortunate because if you're spending uh, that, that kind of money, you, you need to get a pen job that will last you at least five years, looking as it is. Because uh, uh, if, if you have a proper budget like that, use the pro uh, proper uh, filler, use proper primer, use uh, proper undercoat, use proper base coat, and use the best uh, clear coat that we can, we can find in the market. Okay. Because it, those things are expensive. So if somebody is charging you upwards of 150, be, uh, because there are they, they are, they are people who charge up to 300, uh, 300K. For a paint job. For a paint job. But you are assured that that paint job is a proper, proper paint job. Uh, of course, there are quarks. There are guys who, who, who will charge you premium and not not really give you uh, uh, what you're supposed to get. And then there are, there are guys who will, give, who will give you a whole paint job for, for, that, for, that, for that K. Even 25? Even 25K. You should not expect anything premium from that. Yes. I, mean, as the, I mean, what you give is what you get. It's almost directly proportional. It's not almost, it is, it is, direct <laughs> it is directly proportionate. Uh, so if you if you pay cheap for a paint job, then you're going to get a cheap you're going to get cheap quality. You are paying cheap. Uh, you are paying cheap for whatever is cheap. Yes. Yes. And uh, now let's talk also about the the professionalism. Mm -hmm. There is somebody who is going to drive in with a car, and you're going to tell them, "Give me two weeks." Mm -hmm. Others will tell you, "Give me three weeks," but like two months down the line, the vehicle is still not done. Uh, I, I may not talk on behalf of people who will get guilt to months, eh? yes. but for us, we, we normally do two, two to three weeks. Uh, actually, we give customers two weeks unless we, we encounter something yes. that will make now us to, to, uh, to prolong the, the time a bit. But for us, two weeks, 10, 10 12 working days, we should have a, if it is a proper, if it is a complete uh, respray. Okay. Yeah. That is if it's not accident whereby you need to replace panels yes, or yeah, even do yeah. some panel beating. Yeah. And, and uh, or, or maybe there's a panel, uh, there's a part missing. Yes. Yeah. And uh, now panel beating. Another question here, Bonadonga. Yes. Between replacing a panel and straightening the one that is there, which one is cheaper and which one will give you better quality? Well, it depends which, which panel it is. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, but there are people who, who don't like having their, 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 their panel, uh, panel beaten. Yes. But as we, 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 we can do a, a, a pretty mean panel beaten ourselves, yes. you don't have to. It depends, it depends on, on a customer. Uh, so when you're charging, when you're giving you a quote, we'll give you a quotation depending on how the car is. And for Donga, we will not, will not accept, we will not tell you that we, ca we can uh, restore this panel con complete with the contours uh, if we can't. If we can't, we'll tell you was uh, to nullify another panel. Yes. Yes. So that depends on the, on the customer. There are, there are things that we can, we can, we can properly repair. There are even, especially bumpers, because bumpers are, are, are normally the, the worst Heat. <laughs> yes, they, 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 and you know all bumpers are plastic. Plastic, huh? yeah. So you will not believe. Uh, I'll send you videos of, 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 of a bumper that we've restored, eh? and you will not know anything happened to it. Oh, that's that's good craftsmanship. Yeah. And uh, now, guys, what we if you want to get in touch with Mr. Donga, if you want to bring your car to Donga Casper, not even bring it. If you want to come and see the kind of work that he's doing, his number is on the video's description. I'm out to wake up here up screen. We can put it up on the screen so that you guys can reach out to him. Just first of all, come and see the quality of paint that he's doing and uh, we are going to give mr donga a very interesting challenge to try and see how well these jobs are actually done and uh, so we got ourselves a production car an isuzu trooper 1975 and it came in with uh, the body is not bad but it has some elements of rust and also it needs a new 
paint job. So we are going to entrust it to Donga Kabekari to see the results of his work. You know, we told you that at Auto Connect, what we do, we have to give, we have, before we fully endorse, yes. we must see the results. But from the cars that are here, we can see the quality of mm. work that's being done and even the results. For instance, this FJ Cruiser has had a very good paint job on it. Thank you. It's, it's something that you, mm. you, you really admire. Mm. And how, how are you able to restore to factory factory grade kind of paint job? Because one thing is, uh, if you're selling a car, and uh, if you look at a car that has been repainted, yeah. the first thing you'll see, this car has been, been, has repainted. been repainted. But yeah. how are you able to maintain that touch of being factory, uh, factory spec? That if I look at it, I'm like, ah. before I find out that the car has been repainted, I'll have to have a very keen eye. Uh, that's why you see us stripping. Mm -hmm. We do proper strip strips, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure uh, yes, Andy will, will show them around. So what we do, once a car gets here, we strip, like, like even this one is not fully stripped because it was not a complete. We strip down a car completely. That way, even when you are painting, eh, even, the, even, 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 even the body parts that will be covered by other panels, eh, they, are, they are repainted. Even to the, uh, on, on the doors, we make sure we paint even inside. So, uh, of course, somebody who is, who is extremely keen will, see, will still see that it has been painted, eh? but we do a proper job of, of you not telling. Yes. That's why even, even, even when you hit uh, the panels, eh? you cannot feel. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure yes. you hit cars and you hear. Uh, when you go to view cars that are being bought, the, yes. if you're going to buy a car, the first thing you do is... Yeah, you start <laughs> feeling uh, fillers. Or oh, use a magnet. Yeah. You know, some of them are so bad that you have to use a magnet. Yeah. And one thing that Kenyans don't know, or they know right by now, yeah. is that a bad paint job makes your car lose value. Immediately. That is the first thing people see. You not see a, a, a shock absorber or, a, or, the, or the gearbox, how it looks, using, using your, bare, uh, your, your naked eyes. The first thing you see, someone will just come and walk, walk around, and see how badly beaten the, the car is. Yeah, and, and one thing you hear Kenyans say, if you go to buy a car, you're going around and there, there is the term, he me pak warangi. He me pak warangi, yeah. And the moment they say he me pak warangi, it's, you see the, that, that notion of kupaka rangi. Kupaka rangi basically means it's a bad paint job. And that is the notion that we want to, we really want to dispel because cars are painted yes. every day. And uh, it should not be a measure of, of if a car is painted, eh, it's definitely uh, value has gone down. Yes. And that's why, and that's why we try to say, as we'll try and give you as, as close to factory grade paint as, as, possible. as possible. We'll make sure that that paint job, eh, it is a proper paint job, is the same paint job that you'll, you, you'll find abroad. Okay. I mean, uh, they, they use the same uh, grade of paint that we use. They use uh, uh, machines that we use. So why should, and, 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 and the truth is, cars that come uh, from, from Japan or from UK, some of them have been painted. Actually a good Most, number is A good number of them have been painted. Yes. But you can't tell that they have been painted. So why can't we do that ourselves here locally? That is why we are here, we just to tell you that we can give you that proper paint job eh, that you can find out there. Okay. Yes. So I believe this has been a very, very insightful episode. So be sure to catch our weekly episodes on the restoration process of our Isuzu Trooper that will be done entirely by Mr. Donga here and his team. We will uh, see the final finish. And by the way, if you want to see it, you can drop by uh, yes. to Donga Car Bakery. Yeah, yeah. Come and see the progress yourself. You know, these mm -hmm. people say that uh, you do the projects, but you don't want yeah, us to see progress. True. Come and come, see the progress. Come, come to Donga Car Bakery. It's along Mombasa Road, yes. at Total Sabaki. Total Sabaki yeah. That is where Donga Car Spa and Donga Car Bakery is. No, Bona Donga. Mm -hmm. I have driven into Donga Car Spa and Car Bakery. I've, found, I've, I've had myself a proper paint job uh, on my car, a factory grade one, crisp mm. and uh, very glossy. Yeah. Now, how do I take mm. care of it now that in this Nairobi of ours, you have matatus, boda bodas, and cocotenis that can scratch your paint? Mm. Now, uh, 
a paint job is, is, uh, is protected primarily by two ways. There's what we call ceramic coating. Yes. Uh, and then, the, then there is a, what I call ceramic coating 2.0. Yes. So there is cera ceramic coating that, that will protect, uh, it, it will do very, very minimal protection, which is mostly uh, try, try and prevent uh, what we're talking about, the UV, the, the sun burning the clear coat. Yes. So it's applied there, it will try and, 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 and protect that from happening. Now the difference between uh, the ceramic coating that uh, are, are in the market and uh, the ceramic coating that we can provide you we have to grade even ourselves. We have two grades. We have one that will last you almost two years, and then we have something that will last you between four and five years. So the difference is uh, the, the the difference mainly is on the hardness. Once it has been applied on the car, uh, uh, there are, there are those that have a rate, ratings of nine H in the market. Yes. You, you get people talk about ceramic coatings for 8,000 bob, even 6,000 bob. Yes. Even 5,000 bob maybe. Uh, it, the car will look very nice, then after, after six months, eh, you're wondering what, what happened. So everything is just about how expensive a, a product is. So as we, we don't have the, the, the 9H, we have the basic one, uh, is, a 40, is a 14H. 14H is a, is, is a is a is a measure of hardness, how hard it is, how hard it will try and, and, and absorb the the scratches, eh? yes. or not absorb, uh, prevent the scratches, and then uh, that other ceramic coat, uh, that other coating which we call uh, Donga Diamond Coat, eh? will will protect the car. It's a bit hard. It will it will protect from the light scratches much better, and it will last you for four years, okay. around four years. Yes. Four, five, between four and five years. So that is one grade. Then now there is the mother of protection, which is the pain protection film. And that is what we, we, are, known, we, are, we are known for. So once you, once, once, you have, once you buy a new car, or you've done a, a fresh paint, of, uh, uh, paint, paint job, we try and urge our customers, for you to maintain that car looking like that, for guaranteed to six and eight years, if you want. Please go ahead and have uh, a paint protection film on the car. Paint protection film is basically what is known as PPF. Yes. Right? Yeah. So PPF is the ultra way. So we have talked about two, two three ways of protecting your car. Yeah. You have the Kawaida ceramic coating. Yes. Uh, we, did you mention about diamond coating? Yes, diamond coating is, is, is the one that will, uh, will, will give you uh, a guarantee of between four and five years. Four and five years. Of how glossy the car is uh, mostly, yeah. Yes. What about PPF? Tell me more about, apart from, from um, protecting the car for up to eight years, the paint of the car up to eight years, yes. what does PPF preve prevent? Maybe, can it protect you from scratches? Yes. You see, uh, these coatings, uh, the ceramic coatings and the diamond coats, those are liquids that are applied on the car. So they're supposed to, when they, uh, once they, they, they dry, they're supposed to form a barrier. But you see now, it's not really a physical barrier because it's, it's a liquid, as opposed now to pain protection film. Now this is, this is a physical barrier, it's a film. It's a very tough film. Uh, of course, even, 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 even in that market uh, of PPF now, uh, uh, guys will bring in cheap material, so they will not give you uh, th they not give you that that proper length of, of time that we can give you. As we, we we are sure between six and eight years, your car, depending on how you, how we take care of it, of course, uh, your car will be, be properly protected. So it is supposed to protect you from scratches, unless those scratches are malicious scratches. Somebody comes with. No, like Eric comes with a, with a screwdriver mm -hmm. or a knife and he has intent to scratch the car. Otherwise, this, this, these other scratches of, uh, you can actually even be bumped by a Boda Boda and nothing happens, depending on the, on, on, on the, on the impact of the bump. Yes. Or if the, if the impact is 
is too big, eh? uh, it can only just, just, just uh, scratch the paint protection film. You will not need to, to repaint the car unless now it is now it's been properly hit. Yes. Yeah. So the ultra mode or the, the highest uh, way or maybe the most recommended way to protect your paint job for up to eight years and also from those scratches would actually be high PPF. Yes. High quality uh, PPF. High quality PPF which, which we provide. It will also pro, uh, protect you from getting stone, chi stone chips at the front, uh, front end of the car. Yes. The bumpers and, uh, and the bonnets. I'm yes. sure you see a lot of chipping of the paint. Yes. That is just uh, road gravel that, that chips the paint. Yes. But with that, it being a physical barrier, you will never get those stone chips. Ah, nice. Yes. So guys, uh, I want to remind you that if you want to reach out to Mr. Donga, his number is on the description below, and his workshop is along Mombasa Road uh, at Total Sabaki. He has a very well established, a very well equipped workshop to give you uh, a good paint job and as well as protect that paint job. The workshop for the paint job is called Donga Car Bakery, yes. but the where you get to protect your car's paint is called Donga Casper. And uh, as I've told you, we have trusted him with our newest uh, project car that will that is a hardcore off-roader and will serve as our production car. So also, if you want to contribute towards production of this content, there is a link in the description, www.tinypesa.com forward slash wakabi. You can click on it and donate whatever you have towards production of this alluring and insightful content. I've been your host, Eric Wakabi, Eric with a CK. You can follow me on my socials on Facebook, X, Instagram, and also TikTok. Remember, my handles are Eric with a CK. See you next time as we kickstart our new project car restoration.